Liverpool potential owners are coming to blow the club away. There's a new favourite in Liverpool's race to become new owners. Steven Paglica, who wants to buy the club, has £112 billion more assets than Sheikh Mansour, owner of Manchester City. Liverpool owners Fenway Sports Group shocked the football world by putting the club up for sale on Monday. They have been at the helm at Anfield since their takeover in October 2010, costing them £300 million. Now, after overseeing one of the most successful periods in the club's history, they want to make money. Under their regime, Liverpool ended their 30-year wait to become champions of England. They also reached three Champions League finals and won the trophy in 2019. And during that time, they spent £1.254 billion on transfers. Some reports claim they are seeking around £4 billion to sell the club. And despite the high asking price, there is likely to be no shortage of buyers. The takeover speech also raised questions about Jurgen Klopp's future at Merseyside. After signing a new deal earlier this year, he's already been under some scrutiny after some inconsistent results this season. The German manager, however, responded firmly to these after Wednesday's penalty shootout win against Derby in the Carabao Cup. We will talk about the details of this news later in our video. A number of names have been associated with the club since FSG's shock announcement. Redbird Capital Partners, which invested £540 million in the club in 2021, is among those contacted. Basketball star LeBron James is the group's main financier. However, they are not favourites, as the Daily Star reports that Paglica's group, Bain Capital, is now ahead. Steven Paglica remains linked with Liverpool's takeover. Paglica and his company are reportedly worth a staggering £119 billion. To put it in context, Sheikh Mansour, owner of Manchester City, has assets worth around £17 billion. However, this becomes insignificant compared to the £320 billion that Newcastle's owners are worth. However, this takeover will bring serious wealth to Liverpool and make them big players in the world transfer markets. And unlike Newcastle, they will have more room to curl in terms of FFP regulations. Paglica is famous for being the co-owner of the NBA club Boston Celtics. He is a private equity investor and co-chairman of Bain. Paglica, 67, also owns 55% of Italian team Atalanta. Perhaps most importantly, he is famous as the man who turned fast food giant Burger King back into profitability. FSG is reportedly the man most open to selling controlling stakes. Current owner John Henry knows Paglica well and is now apparently the leading contender to take charge. Paglica is known for not shying away from spending money to bring the club's elite sports stars to the club. To that end, it will be seen as an exciting new fit for Liverpool. Speculations have already looked into potential targets it could act on. Kylian Mbappe is one of those names that has resurfaced on the radar amid rumours of being uneasy at PSG, often linked to Liverpool but seemingly out of reach. However, Erling Holland is also once again associated with a blockbuster transfer to Liverpool. The Norwegian admitted that Liverpool is among the clubs he is considering joining over the summer. Indeed, a recent report claims that it was Liverpool who chose to withdraw from the summer deal after the financial situation emerged. Holland had a relatively modest £51 million exit clause in the Dortmund contract. As such, it was a deal that Liverpool was strongly attached to. However, the total cost of the deal would have cost Liverpool £300 million. After calculating the player's salary, bonuses, performance-related payouts, manager's wages, Liverpool decided that the overall package for Holland was beyond what they were willing to pay. Liverpool's loss has since become Manchester City's gain. However, Liverpool's potential takeover by Paglica could lead to significant change in the future. The transfer of the two world stars we have mentioned may not be a dream anymore. Klopp said if it is planning to leave Liverpool in the middle of FSG sales interviews. Recently, it was reported that there could be a question mark about Jurgen Klopp's future at Liverpool should Fenway Sports Group part ways with the club. It has been stated that one of the driving factors behind the decision of the German coach to extend his contract at the club is that he is confident that FSG is in this contract in the long term in 2026. In addition to this, Klopp is believed to share a strong bond with Mike Gordon. 
However, the former Borussia Dortmund boss reportedly became aware of FSG's desire to sell the club in October of this year, further raising the question of whether he is considering saying goodbye to Anfield loyalists. After Liverpool won 3-2 on penalties against Derby County in the third round of the Carabao Cup, Jurgen Klopp lifted the lid on his future at Liverpool. Chelsea has been sold. We're looking for investors. As far as I know, FSG is looking for investors and it's happening. Regardless, I'm committed to the club, he said. Nobody had a heart attack who heard the news, Klopp said. For me, that's just important, we keep going and planning as this process happens. Whatever happens, no matter if someone comes or whatever, it will take time, he added. It's safe to assume that Liverpool fans will take a collective view of faith after confirming that the 55-year-old manager has no plans to leave the club. With that being the case, the Reds are in desperate need of a roster restructuring and the Reds have been massively underperforming on all fronts so far this season. However, popular opinion is that Jurgen Klopp is the best possible candidate to steer the ship under such harsh conditions to ensure that the club recaptures its glory days once again under his guidance. With the club's high transfer budget, it's very exciting to imagine Klopp. Liverpool's rising star was selected for the national team. Liverpool players have spent this week sweating over whether they will make it to the World Cup this month. Roberto Firmino did not receive a call for Brazil, but Alisson Becker and Fabinho were among the invited players. It is unclear whether Virgil van Dijk, Thiago Alcantara and Darwin Nunez will still receive the invitation and are among those waiting to hear this announcement. However, one of the players who received good news yesterday was Ibrahim Akonate. The 23-year-old had not previously been invited to the national team during the reign of France coach Didier Deschamps. He's only won two senior trophies in his career up to this point, but he's done enough to be invited to the national team this season. Conate could side with Manchester United's Rafael Varane or Arsenal's William Saliba in Qatar. It is unlikely that he will be the first choice, but the experience will be excellent for him and it is a great reward for his form since joining Liverpool. Van Dijk and Diogo Hotter congratulated Conate after the announcement. They took to social media to show their appreciation for the young defender. Conate took to Instagram after the announcement and shared her pride in receiving the call. Conate said, what a great honor and honor to be able to represent France in the biggest competition. This is a childhood dream come true. Van Dijk describes his defender partner as a star. Hotter called Conate a monster after his personal disappointment in missing the tournament after suffering an injury. The £36 million defender had a steady start to his time at Liverpool but struggled with injuries. Conate is a popular figure in Liverpool and Liverpool staff love his mentality. Injury issues this season could have affected his chances of being called up yesterday. However, he's back in full form at the perfect time and has one final Premier League match to go before he joins France. Conate is the long-term successor to Joel Matip for Liverpool, who is also suffering from injuries. He has the perfect player to learn from Van Dijk and his mentorship has helped Conate develop.